had a few requests for a Get to Know Me video, so I have pulled up the Get to Know Me tag questions, and I'm going to read them. They're over here, so if I look this way, um, that's why, but I'm going to read them and just answer them, and let's get started. So the first question is, what is your middle name? My middle name is Ellen. I don't believe I was named after anyone. It was just um, my dad actually picked out my name, Mary Ellen. And um, yeah, so the next question, what is your favorite color? Yellow. I like yellow just because I think it's so um, sunny and bright and I don't know, I, I wear a lot of black, <laughs> but my favorite color is yellow. So I don't know, it's something about, I love neon yellow, uh, pastel yellow, a uh, very light, very deep, gold, you know, anything, any variation of yellow. Who is your best friend? Um, my best friend, her name is Amber. She does not have YouTube. She's pretty much social media less. <laughs> she um, just stays pretty much out of all of it. But yeah, she has been my best friend ever since uh, the end of seventh grade. She moved to my school and we've just hit it off. You know, at the end of the year, we started to get to know each other and we've been best friends ever since. How tall are you? My height is like five, nine and a half. 5'9", five, 5'10", five, you know, whatever you want to say. Uh, sometimes I round it just to be easier, but it's actually like 5'9 and a half. Um, cats or dogs? Ooh, tough. I like both, but if I had to pick one, dogs maybe? I don't know. I love dogs because you can like cuddle with them and everything, but cats are nice because if you have a cool cat, it will let you... Um, cuddle with it also. Some cats though, I mean, if you own a cat, you know that cats are very if finicky. You, cat, you know they like to do things on their own schedule. So um, yeah, it's not always like on your terms. They pick their own thing and they just go about it. Um, so I'd probably say dogs. Um, funniest moment throughout school. My funniest moment. One of my friends had an older sister who used to hang out at the bar with one of our teachers because they were the same age and he had a particular nickname that is of a sexual reference and um, my other best friend, Amber, who I mentioned before, she on a field trip just out of nowhere was like, hey, there he is and said his nickname. And he, like, whether he heard or not, we're not sure, but he definitely turned and looked the direction. So, yeah, it was pretty funny because she didn't mean to say it. She meant to say, like, the teacher's actual name, but she said his nickname. And, yeah, so that was hysterical because, obviously, she didn't want to say that to his face. How many countries have you visited? I have visited one. Um, I have been to Canada and actually I've been to Canada twice. So um, just right over the border to Niagara Falls and I've also been to Toronto. Both were really awesome, but yes, I would love to visit more countries of the world, but I have not been Are so far. Are you in or have you gone to college? Yes, I'm currently, currently in- I'm going for my master's degree in speech language pathology, which is a long name for speech therapist. And um, I'm really excited about it, but yes, in the state of Pennsylvania, at least, it's a requirement to have a master's degree. So, um, yeah, I kind of got sucked into the grad school, but hey, I have a master's degree, so I'll get paid a little bit more, and that's what always a good thing. What was your favorite or worst subject in school? Um, my worst <laughs> and least favorite was math. Um, yeah, I've never been good at math. I never thought I had a good math teacher to explain it in a way that I could understand. I've taken math courses in high school and I had two really good teachers who taught me ways to do math that I didn't even know were possible and I understood them and I was like, if somebody would have taught me it this way all along, I would have known and I would have done so well in school. But yeah, math is my worst. Um, my favorite was always English. I um, just did really well. I could understand it and I was a good essay writer, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, English was my favorite and band because I'm a huge band slash choir person. Um, those were always my, like my niche. Um, what is your favorite drink? 
if we're talking regular or are we talking alcoholic? Alcoholic drink, I would probably pick a margarita because I just love them. The flavored ones, non-flavored ones, um, they're all pretty good. And non-alcoholic, I would pick probably iced tea. I really like um flavored, non-flavored, sweet, unsweet, whatever. I just love it all. But if I like am out somewhere and I really want to drink, I really don't go towards pop that much anymore. I drink a lot of water. And if I don't drink water, it's usually tea. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is... Um, my favorite zoo animal is a giraffe. I just think they're so unique and elegant and just they like are so demanding like not demanding in a bad way, but just like they have a presence about them that's kind of like, look at me, and they're just so statuesque and beautiful, and I don't know, I love the pattern. I just really love giraffes, so I think I'd say giraffes. And what is my favorite perfume? Well, wow, I really don't have a favorite perfume um, of something. Um, Lucky number seven, I believe, is what it was called. I can uh, link it below for you, but I think... That one is the only one that I've purchased multiple bottles of and finished. It's um, like a cherry blossom, and it's just so rich and warm. It's nice for the fall and winter months. I really love that one. And since I have purchased two full-size bottles, I guess that would be my favorite Coffee. one. Well, I love both. As I told you already, I like iced tea, so I guess I would pick tea. But I do love coffee. It has to be decaf, though, because I can't have regular with my acid reflux. It bothers me a lot. So, um... Anything, and that's another reason why I don't drink tea a lot is because I do have acid reflux and that bothers it. So I have to have um, decaf coffee or tea. And it's really hard to find um, bottled of either, but bottled flavored iced tea in decaf is really hard. So companies out there, anybody who owns a company like that, I need you to start making those. That'd be what great. Do you name your children. Well, first of all, you have to have want children. Um, yeah, my boyfriend and I are pretty much set against children at this point in our lives. He has never wanted kids. I kind of did, but never really was like die hard about kids. And um, I have a nephew who drives me insane. I have babysat him. I babysat him the summer after he was born, so that was eye-opening in itself. He's eight now and drives me crazy every single day, and I always think, I am so thankful that this is not my child because I'd, I'd be insane. I would be insane. So, yes, I don't know that I will ever have kids, so at this point, I don't have any needs. What sports needs. do you play or have you played? I never played sports for school. I don't like organized sports as far as school goes because, one, I was kind of overweight. I mean, my whole life, I still am um, not like obese, but, you know, just overweight. And I never felt confident about myself, so <clears throat> I never wanted to play. My favorite sport, if I would have played one, would have been volleyball. Um, but, you know, all the girls, like the popular girls, were bratty, and I didn't you know, I might have talked to one or two of them, so not really the kind of thing I'm, like, raring to try out for, plus, like I said, it was kind of overweight, so I wasn't really, like, in the best shape to go running around a court or anything like that, like in basketball, so I never played any sports, but if I did, it would have been volleyball. What's your favorite book? Um, I'm going to pick a series. Um, I read these, well, okay, let me just give it to you first. Among the Hidden by Margaret Peterson Haddix is the first book in a series, and it is amazing. I have never, like, when I was in high school, I never read a lot of books, um, and that book really hooked me in. I decided to read it for a book report, and I fell in love. I bought all the books in the series at the book fair, and, um... I read through them all so fast. As soon as I finished one, I was on to the next, on to the next, on to the next. And I told my best friend, you have to read these. She read them. She was as addicted as I was. So I kept like giving her my copies of them. And we both got really hooked in it. And we both really liked the book. So yeah, the I was never a reader. And those got me into reading. Um, so I would say Among the Hidden by Margaret Peterson Haddix. It's 
more of a like middle school kind of level, but you know, even adults can read it and like it. They're really Who good are some books. Of your favorite YouTubers? Wow, I love Kathleen Lights. I love Tati. I love Manny MUA. Um, I love Nikki Tutorials, of course, and I also really enjoy Emily Noel eighty two and Jessica at Jam Beauty eighty nine. And probably my favorite, I can't go, like, without watching any of her. I can't uh, go without watching, like, any of her videos just because I think she's so funny, so relatable, so down to earth. I watch her Snapchat all the time, and I feel like she's so relatable, and her family's always on there, too. And so you almost just feel a part of her family. I'm um, talking about and Polish, um, Nicole. She is amazing. I really love her. I think she's so talented. And she's just really inspirational, but like I said, funny, inspirational. She does really good makeup. She knows her stuff. She, she'll she tell you the truth about products, whether she's, you know, part of their PR or not. And I just really like her uh, videos. Like I said, she's somebody that if I'm having a hard day, I want to come home and I want to watch her videos because I really enjoy them. What is your favorite movie? Ooh, what is my favorite movie? Um... I'll say Grease because I've watched Grease so many times in my life and John Travolta is my favorite actor. So, um, yeah, he is just amazing in anything, but Grease is one of those that like I fell in love with It's the moment I saw it and I've watched it so many times. I own it every time it's on, I'll turn it on and I know almost all the words to it. So it's just one of those songs that I have the soundtrack and everything, so it's, like, a big deal. Taken. I am taken. I've been with my boyfriend for, like, seven years now, and uh, we are planning on potentially getting married in the future. So, yes, um, I'm taken. What is your an idea of... What is your idea of an ideal first date? Hmm. I'm pretty relaxed as far as um, dates and stuff like that goes. I like the old dinner in the movie kind of thing because, first of all, I like to decide on a mutual movie. It has to be something that we're both I like. like. I, I don't like dragging my boyfriend to a movie he doesn't want to see. Um, there's been times where we've gone to the movie theater together and we will go to our separate movie theaters because he wants to see this movie and I have absolutely no interest in it. And he feels the same about mine. So I would say um, decide on a mutual movie. Uh, go see that, and then pretty laid back, um, and then go to a, go to a dinner, I mean, it doesn't even have to be anything super fancy, like, I'm down for a burger and fries and a milkshake, you know, whatever, but as long as you are in good company, I think that's what really matters. How many matters. girlfriends, boyfriends have you have? Honestly, I've only had one boyfriend, and that's my current one, <clears throat> I started dating him right out of high school, and I've been with him ever since. Favorite memory from childhood? Um... My grandpa basically raised me along with my mom, and uh, my dad was never in the picture, so I guess it would probably be all the times that I spent with my grandpa. I, I really became close to him, and not everybody has that cr close relationship with their grandparents, but like I said, he was almost like a dad to me, and um, yeah, just the summers together. He was a caretaker of a cemetery, so... I would go with him to the cemetery and help him, you know, he would mow and, and do that kind of stuff, and I'd just, like, sit around and watch him help when I could, pick some weeds here or there, and then we'd go get lunch, and, um, just, like, simple memories, uh, like that, but, yeah, spending time with my grandparents, but especially my grandpa. Do you speak any different languages and how well? Um, I would say no. I have taken two years of Spanish class in high school, and I know some words here or there, but, like, I wouldn't say that I speak the language. I mean, if you say muy bueno, I know what that means, but I don't speak it very well. Um, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one older sister. How would you describe your fashion sense? Uh, eh, I don't know. Um, I guess kind of like a classic look is what I'm going for, just like a jeans and a t-shirt, like jeans and a rock t-shirt usually is kind of my style. Um, I like to get dressed up, but I don't really that often. I mean, I'm a college student. I don't have money. You see the shirt I'm wearing. It's not fancy. Um, yeah, I just, 
I mean, I want to say I'm on top of the trends. I don't have all the latest fads and everything like that, but you know, I try to dress nice, something that's going to stay in, um, something that's going to stay in style for a while so that I can just kind of have it for years to come. That's my motto. What is your favorite restaurant? Ooh, my favorite restaurant. I can't really pick one. Let's say anything Mexican because I love Mexican food. I could eat it every single day. So um, whether it's Taco Bell or Cadoba, California tortilla, um, I mean, it could be like a sit down Mexican restaurant, authentic Mexican, anything. I love everything. So yeah, I would say not really so much as one restaurant, but a type would be a Mexican food. What are some of your favorite TV shows? Oh gosh, do we have all day? Um, I love any of the Real Housewives. I love The Walking Dead, um, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Throw these in there. They're not really TV shows, but I'm a huge wrestling fan, so I love watching um, WWE, TNA, Ring of Honor, um, NXT, which goes with WWE, but, you know, just to break that down. Um, so, <laughs> I know those aren't really shows, but I can never, ever miss wrestling. I mean, in high school, I used to either watch it every single night it was on or tape it if I was not going to be here, and I am getting so into it recently, especially NXT is my favorite because just the up and coming people I really, really like. But um, yeah, I have started to try to watch them every week again, every episode, you know, to get it back on that. PC or Mac? Definitely PC. I am not a Mac person at all. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do anything on a P. I don't know how to do anything on a Mac. Uh, you could hand me an iPad and I might be able to scroll around, but eventually I'll hit a button and I'll have no idea how to get out of where I am or how I got to where I am. So yeah, I'm like Mac illiterate is what I like to say. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm ever doing on there. What phone do you have? An I iOS or Android? I have an Android. I have the Samsung Galaxy X6 and I really like it. I'm glad that I have it. And yeah, Android for life because like I just told you, I'm like Mac illiterate. And tell us one of your bad habits. Ooh, one of my bad habits is definitely biting my nails. I have never been able to not bite my nails. I do it when I'm studying for tests or when I'm really stressed out. And as you can see, don't really have any nails. So just had a test last week. Um, but yeah, I can never seem to like get away from that habit. So that would definitely be one of my bad habits. So, there are all the questions on the tag that I found, and um, yeah, if you have any more questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you. Please um, let me know what you thought of this. Answer some of these questions. Um, I'm not really going to tag anybody, but if you have a YouTube um, or if you've done this, let me know, and I'll check it out. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, please um, leave them below and I'll get back to you. And like this video if you liked it. And I will talk to you guys soon.